Oh, jeez. Okay. So <laughs> we're talking up close and personal with the candidates. Uh, the official, the official makeup doer upper for the candidates here tonight. Uh, right. Your name? Chris Satarian. I and, own Chris Cosmetics. And you're from the state of New Hampshire? Yep. Yeah, I live in Bedford, and uh, my business is in Manchester. And most importantly, you've dealt with the big guys. The big guns. So the presidential candidates you yeah. traveled for CNN. I've been doing this for 21 years. And uh, I just spent the last 20 months traveling as CNN's chief of makeup for special events, which included about 16 presidential debates all over the country, uh, ending with both conventions. It was a 17-day stretch working the platform for CNN. And uh, who was the most interesting person that you applied makeup They're to? They're all interesting. They're politicians. <laughs> <laughs> what made you get into this industry? Um, I kind of fell into it. Um, I, I used to be a model a long time ago. and. Uh, I entered the Miss New Hampshire pageant, and um, for scholarship money for school, that is. I wanted to get my uh, master's degree in international business, and um, ended up winning, and um, sort of got a reputation as a makeup girl, because I really knew how to do my makeup. And um, I kind of went with that nickname and turned it into a business, took my marketing degree and my talent with makeup, and turned it into a business 21 years ago. And within four or five years after starting, I was traveling with the White House. And uh, my first gig was traveling with Pat Buchanan on his campaign in 1991. And he, of course, had a show on CNN, Crossfire. And I uh, was getting a lot of recognition. And so he introduced me to NBC, started traveling with, with them, uh, working for Tom Brokaw, Tim Russert back in 91. That was the first year that Meet the Press was happening, so um, that started what would be um, the beginning of my career as a political makeup artist. And um, I've worked on every single presidential candidate in the past four elections. Uh, so I've had the, the best career, and I get to live in New Hampshire, which is a great state. And everyone used to always say to me, you know, how come you're not in LA? How come you're not in New York doing makeup? And uh, I just happen to think that being a makeup artist in New Hampshire is a number one. <laughs> and uh, so, how do you keep, are you, you now are you an independent? Or yes. do you support one candidate or I'm the other? Indep I'm very independent, I have to be, because I work for both sides, and uh, I get to know them, and I get to really like them personally, and voting for me is very confusing. Who was the most personable candidate you've seen? The most personable candidate I've seen was probably Governor Richardson in this past presidential election. Uh, he's just really real, not just with me, but with the, with the people around you. You know, when you're in a room and somebody's bringing water in and they stop to go over and introduce themselves to somebody like that and really connect with, with all people, I, I really think that's an amazing attribute in a candidate. Anything else? That's it. <laughs>